what the world is saying about America's withdrawal from Afghanistan. CNN, what happened? As harrowing pictures of Afghans claim clinging to U.S. cargo jet in a desperate bid to escape the Taliban circulator, everyone in Washington is asking a version of the same questions. Did President Joe Biden misread the intelligence about the imminent collapse of the Afghan government and the armed forces? Did U.S. spy agencies fail to pick up the Taliban surge, which led to the collapse of numerous provincial strongholds and Kabul within, within days? Or did the president simply ignore the evidence in his drill to end the military misadventure and rip a political win? The imagery of from Afghanistan is deeply damaging to Biden politically and paints the disastrous picture of the nation that has long seen itself as the global leader and the guardian of democracy, human rights, and humanitarianism. Biden did admit in the address to the nation that the Taliban Trump triumph had unfolded more quickly than he had expected after repeatedly dismissing the idea that the fundamentalist militia could quickly capture Afghanistan. As he seeks to stabilize his reign administration, Biden tries to reframe, reframe the issue into a question of whether the U.S. should leave its longest war or keep fighting. Conveniently ignoring the question at hand, did the White House botch it full out in a way that caused chaos and could expose thousands of Afghans linked to the U.S. forces to the vicious backlash? Instead, Biden placed the blame among it everywhere else. It implic implicitly rebuked previous president for allowing the 20-year war to go on so long. He lambasted Afghan leaders and other soldiers for not putting on a fight after years of U.S. funds and training, an easy and rather callous point to make from the safety of the East Room's ornate gold curtain splendor. Biden wrote rightly rounded on ex-President Donald Trump for how he had negotiated the U.S. exit from Afghanistan to begin with, cutting the Kabul government out of the loop and doing almost nothing to offer refugees to Afghans who worked as translators or fixtures or fought with U.S. forces. Republicans savaging Biden's strategy now are effectively condemning him for following a path that Trump set. But Biden has been president for seven months, while Trump did incalculable, incalculable damage. Liberals in the media and Twitter cannot blame his predecessor forever. I'm president of the United States of America. The buck stops with me, Biden said. It just didn't sound like he completely believed it. What do you say? Meanwhile, the Infox was busy with the riddle analyzed in the questions as the Taliban advances in Afghanistan. Here are some selected comments. Send, send your to meanwhile.cnn.com. What is the reason and cause of the speedy advancing of Taliban? This cannot have happened out of nowhere. They must have had some orchestrated help from somewhere. Who is behind all this and why could this not be stopped? It is like the spreading of the flag of COVID-19 covering most of the country in no time, said Christine Minchin. What has happened to push this that no one seems to have noticed? Karen in Denmark 
echoes the call made by many to evacuate the Afghans who once helped the American forces and who now risk retribution from the Taliban. Afghans must run must learn to take responsibility for their own country and to stop blaming the U.S. and allies for their problems. But please, U.S. and allies, get the persons who worked for you out of the country if you wish. If they wish to send as many planes as needed, is no excuse to leave them behind. Meanwhile, the carry in Finland objected to comparisons between the U.S. evacuations from Afghanistan and the fall of Saigon. There has been no bleak creek in Afghanistan. The army and security units have not offered resistance at all. Craig means war. This is no Craig Clegg against the Taliban. They just drive, drive from city to city waving their flags and guns. There has been no serious fighting, nothing like Saigon. Alex lamented Washington's lost credibility as a champion of democracy. It is a sad day for the US after years and years of lies to their own people and wrapping themselves as the pl in the plagues and uh, patriotic jargon, which was nothing short of uh, out out outright lies. Now the foreign diplomacy of the U.S. is in tatters, and it all boils down to America's full timing for Sue who wrote the original purpose to take care of those who were responsible for the attack on this nation in September 2001 ended with the elimination of the one who ordered the hit Osama bin Laden that is when troop withdrawals should have begun. Cha then fraud. Another historic Washington experiment with horror, the world is watching the result of another historic Washington experiment. Russia Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova posted Sunday on Facebook as the Taliban marched on the Afghan capital to drive her point home. Zakharova posted an ex excerpt. excerpt of a news conference given by U.S. President Joe Biden just over a month ago when he was asked if the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan was inevitable. No, it is not, Biden replied. Judge yourself. Judge for yourself, Jakarova wrote. Russia has already announced that it has working contact with the Taliban, whom it whom it described as restoring public order. The clearer demonstration of U.S. importance than the Vietnam War. Chinese media, Chinese state media, meanwhile, reported on America's humiliation in Afghanistan with rallies using scenes of the chaotic U.S. evacuation and the shift to resurgence of the Taliban as proof of the superiority of China's hands-off approach to other countries' internal affairs. The drastic change in Afghanistan's situation is undoubtedly a heavy blow to the U.S. It declared the com complete failure of U.S. intent to reshape Afghanistan. The state-run tabloid Global Times said in an editorial published late on Sunday night, This defeat of the U.S. is a clearer demonstration of U.S. importance than the Vietnam War. The U.S. is indeed like a paper tiger.